Well, the time has come. Tiny Basic 2.5G is ready to put into the wild. I thought I would do a short video and show you the finished product. So we have a version running right now, and of course this is on the G80S Micro. As you can see right off the bat, it has a help menu, as it states right there. So let's go ahead and type help. Now when you type help, it comes up with this little screen. Of course, it just prints it to the screen, but it says uh, Tiny Basic 2.5G Expanded um, Instructions. And what these are is these are the routines that I've added to Tiny Basic. Uh, obviously, we have out in poke peak, delay, and CLS. Now, with these instructions, I try to keep them as similar as possible. That way that they would be easy to remember. So, for the general idea here it's going to be the instruction either a 2 or a 4 bit hexadecimal value a comma and then a variable now the variable for example would be a b c z whatever and then of course uh, delay and cls are just you know the term themselves they, they don't have any um, anything that you have to add to them to make uh, it do anything special. So let's take a look. Uh, we're going to write a short program here. Let's let A equal 1 and let's let B equal 0. Now we're going to poke A into A F F F and we are going to peak A F F F into B and then we are going to print B. Okay, let's run this. It should print a one. Okay, it did. Now we can prove that this is going to work because what we will do is we will let A equal two hundred. Okay, so as you can see, we're letting A equal 200. We are going to uh, then uh, let B equal 0. We're going to poke the value of A into the address, and then we're going to read back from that address into B, and then print B. So whenever we top run, it should print 200. And it did. So we know that it works. Um... So the other two are the delay routine and CLS. Now a delay, it, it with a six megahertz clock, it delays about two milliseconds. Now if you change the frequency of that, um, I mean I, I I can't I can't really tell you what it's going to do. Obviously, if it's slower, it's going to be slower. If it's faster, it's going to be faster. But you'll just have to do the math. Um, if you actually go up and you take a look at the delayed routine, essentially what I'm doing is I'm just um, figuring up how many uh, cycles it needs to take in order to be able to um, give the estimated value. But you also have to take into consideration that the, um, the tiny basic takes some time to interpret itself because you have to remember this is a interpreter. It's, it's not actual uh, machine code. It is being interpreted. So it does take time in order to do that. So, a good example, let's just uh, do a new program here. Um, let's do this. For i equals, let's say, 1 to 500. Delay, next i, and then we are going to print hello a <laughs> short hello let's fix that real quick and then uh, go to 10 okay this should basically do about a uh, it should be about a one second delay 
Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's a good example of delay, and then CLS is pretty straightforward. It's just CLS. So, like I said, uh, this is the new version of Tiny Basic. Um, it's version uh, 2.5G. It does have the um, updated instructions for the interpreter. And I'm going to put it up on my website tonight. Hopefully, um, it'll be up by the time I get this posted. If you have any questions, though, you can either ask below or you can go to my website and hit the Contact Us page. Um, it'll shoot me an email. I get those emails to my phone, so I'll be happy to um, respond to you just as soon as I get it. Um, I don't check it every five minutes or anything like that. I, I typically take, I don't know, maybe a couple hours on the average, but if you send me something overnight, especially if you're in Europe, I may not get it until the following morning or even the afternoon, but I will respond as soon as I do. But um, at the end of the day, uh, if you do have any questions, I would say probably email is the fastest because I don't get a chance to get on YouTube every single day and I don't always, um, I don't always get a chance to respond to the um, comments every day either uh, typically it's usually within a day or two but it's going to be slower so if you have any questions like i said um, website email that's the best one um, i'm going to stick this up there and i'll try to uh, add a link to the video as well again y'all have a great weekend and um, enjoy the tiny basic 2.5g